Hi, my name is Melinda and I'm doing part two in my series of vectoring videos. What we're going to learn today is three options for vectoring. One thing that I want to do is remove my blank page because it's just going to make it easier when I get a copy of my vectored file. So all I need to do is go to view and then click on page and so my blank page is no longer visible. And this is just, just going to make it easier for this portion of the video. Um, what I have here is a file of a number of straight lines and I'm going to show you three ways of creating a vectored image using uh, the different techniques that appear in the convert image box. So basically all you need to do is click on auto vector and again if you're using the puzzles inspiration you do have this button, it just looks differently. Yours will either say auto or it will say trace or it'll have one of those words. Click on that button and then what you're going to notice is we now have the vectorization box and in there is the convert image information. The first one has a period beside BG and if I leave that alone, click on apply on selection, click on the very first magic wand and then click on my photograph. It is now going to start vectorizing it. Now I'm going to show you what each one does. So if I now zoom into the bottom portion here, let's just uh, click on the zoom tool, you're going to see that we have some curvatures and that it's not perfectly straight. Even though that is a very sharp file, uh, there's a number of curves. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on all I'm going to click on undo and this time I'm going to place a period beside enhance curve. Enhance curve is not something you would ever use on a file such as this. Enhance curve is something you would use on a file that has a number of curves. But I'm just going to show you what would happen if I use it on this file. So period beside enhance curve, click on apply on selection, click on the first magic wand and then click on this image file. Again, we're now going to have large enhanced curves and if you look here, we've got an even more curvy aspect to this image file. You see how it's all curvy? Um, I'm just going to click on all and click on undo. And now I'm going to show you what happens if you click on enhance corner. Enhance corner is actually what you need for any image that has many different corners and has very sharp lines. Click on apply on selection and click on the magic wand, click on your image, and after it's converted, let's zoom into it. You're going to see that we now have nice sharp lines, very, very sharp. We have no more curves. So that's the difference between um, beige, enhanced curve, and enhanced corner. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me. My email address is lovemyzombie at yahoo.ca.